How's it going, everyone? It is Andre Williams, and over here we talk stocks, and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about CEI Camber Energy. It did have a green day, didn't see a ton of price movement, but we did end up having that pullback. I talk about that pullback in all my videos. You want to look out for that morning dip. And we did get a, quite the opportunity there, got down to like a dollar and 23 cents, and then moved up to a dollar 25, started barcoding, and then ending up seeing a high up into the dollar 30s. So definitely a trading opportunity right there, but I'll talk about it more inside of this video. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is a technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance, especially those key levels to look out for as far as for a bullet case scenario and as well as a bearish case scenario. I want to make sure you guys are prepared. And then we're going to go on Fintel taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and as well as the short interest information. The reason why this is important in regards to the short interest, it will have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know what was the buying and the selling behavior like on the institutional side and as well as on the retail side. And then when all of that is done we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details so let's get to it so we're going to do a technical analysis for cei camber energy let's see how it performed on the day so we ended up closing at one dollar and 33 cents being up 2.31 percent on the low it tested one dollar and 23 cents and then on the high testing one dollar and 35 cents so when we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 58.115 million shares and for the average volume over 10 trading days being at 151.194 million shares so one thing we could see right away even though we did have below average volume on the day we saw a little bit of strength in camber so what this tells me yes there are still many who are holding their shares plus on top of that we do have some interest on the buying side now when we take a look at what's happening on our one-year daily chart we could see from the RSI down below it is right around 45.42 and when we take a look at the moving averages on our chart we are below the 21 day EMA as well as the 50 day but we do have strength above the 200 day and as well as the 100 day so like I was talking about yesterday camber has been able to hold up a dollar 30 very well and we are seeing a continuation of that so like i said in the previous video as well this is just consolidation that we have happening we did end up getting to one dollar and 23 cents and this is definitely a big time opportunity and i always tell you guys to look out for that morning dip you don't need to rush in and buy into the play and if you're able to even catch it at 123 or even 125 where it was barcoding for quite some time you would have been able to experience and see the high where it started jumping to a dollar and 35 cents before seeing some resistance so this is why it's important that you have a strategy so as far as going into tomorrow again i would love to see camber come to the 50 day right here at one dollar and 47 cents but to be more realistic here i could see camber if there's a lot of momentum coming into the play i want to see it get to 141 because this is where we do have some resistance before we can actually get to the 50 day where we'll see some more resistance but if we're able to actually get past a dollar fifty then of course i'm going to be looking for us to see how well we can bounce and get through the 21 day ema at one dollar and 58 cents so let's see how camera performs but if it decides to continue its consolidation i have no issues with that whatsoever just makes that pop when we do get it even sweeter so we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for camber energy so as we scroll down further on the page green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions so what we could see here for October 28, we have International Assets Investment Management LLC with a filing of just 29,875 shares. And when we take a look at what's been going on on prior dates as far as new positions, I think I covered this in previous videos. We had Tuttle Tactical Management LLC that went in with just under 22,000 shares. We have Total Clarity Wealth Management that went in with just under 5,000 shares. And we have Belvedere Trading that went in with just under 267,000 
14,000 shares and we also have private advisor group going in with just over 14,000 shares. So now when we take a look at the short interest information, the dark pool short volume ratio is at 23.54% and then for the dark pool short volume being just over 7.8 million shares. As we scroll down further, you can see as far as for the short shares availability is at 1 million updated 16 minutes ago and then for the short ball fee rate is at 6.47%. As we take a look at the history of the short volume ratio, we can see for the close of the 26th, it was at 24.06. And then for the close of the 27th, it was at 23.54. So if you notice, it is continuing to go down. And I emphasized this in the previous video as well. We were as high being at 52.71 back on October the 20th. And here we are 23.54. So what this tells me, yes, we still continue to have short squeeze potential due to the fact that we tend to look for 21% or higher for the short volume. But one thing to be aware of though, as far as for the overall market sentiment, it is getting a lot more positive for CEI. And this is part of the reasons why I wouldn't be shocked if we end up seeing a strong pop within the next week or so. So continue to keep your eye on this play. So let's jump into the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for CEI. So we can see here for the inflow, it was 12,229. And then on the outflow, it was 13,134. When we take a look at the breakdown, we can see for the large, it was 3,946. On the medium, it was 5,996. And then on the small, it was 2,287. When we take a look at the outflow side, on the large, it was 5,586. And on the medium, it was 5,700. And, 46, and then on the small, it was 1,802. When we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for October the 28th, which was today, of course, being negative at 1,640.49. So when we analyze the numbers, you can see for the small side, we had a lot of buying that was happening on the retail side. Yes, we did have some selling, but the buying did win out. When we take a look at what happened on the medium, again, we had a lot more buying as well. So there's a lot of demand here for CEI shares among the medium and as well as the small scale orders. But when we take a look at the large, which could be the institutions that were selling and also taking profits, but again, we still saw some interest on the large scale order side. So this is why I'm gonna to continue to be bullish when it comes to CEI. Now, when we take a look now at the turnover ratio, it was at 23.45%. So this is not too bad whatsoever. We already know there's gonna be a good amount of traders inside of the play, but what this shows me right away, there are many who are holding shares. And then when we add that on top of the demand in regards to the buying that was going down, things continue to look good. So this is why you wanna make sure you're keeping an eye on the volume and as far as the price action that we've been seeing i've been saying this in previous videos just looks like consolidation so now let's jump into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well so for my final thoughts for cei in regards to the price action i know it is not the most exciting but what we see here is clear consolidation and the longer we do this i'm looking forward to seeing a nice pop when we break out of this trend and the reason being is i've spoken about in previous videos already if you get in the entry even at a dollar thirty, it is not too bad. The fact that it was able to pull back to a dollar and twenty three cents for the ones who were patient out there and making sure that they were timing it, they were able to actually grab some shares even at a dollar twenty four and as well as a dollar twenty five. And then many of you said, well, you know what? I turned around and took some profits when it popped into the dollar thirties. So again, this play is for a lot of different people. Whether you're a trader or maybe you're trying to look at this as a buy and hold strategy, I would say if you're buying and holding as far as investing. You want to make sure you take advantage of those dips and only add to your position on those dips. There's no reason to be adding to your position when the stock is running up. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But for traders, there's a lot of volatility and they are taking advantage of it. When we go on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information, one thing that we can clearly see, the short interest has been going down consistently. So what this tells me right away, as far as for the overall market sentiment for Camber Energy, it has become a lot more positive. So this is one thing you're going to want to continue to keep an eye on. And of course, I'm going to continue to keep you guys actually updated so you can add this to your homework and as well as your due diligence. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And I can't wait to see what Camber does tomorrow. <laughs>